hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here welcome today we'll be unboxing the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra then a quick dive into why i think this is an amazing phone and i'm not sad to see it go the packaging as always feels premium with a little bit of information on the box stating the color ram storage model info and you got that 24 months of warranty that is if you have the energy with all the stress here goes my unboxing nails and for some reason it was sealed twice Ah yes, here we have one of the most beautiful phones of 2020 in mystic bronze and that matte finish is just, um, um, it's like one of those things you can't really explain, it's like you just made the love of your life and you froze. I have timestamps in the description, you can skip to the parts where you need information on or where interests you the most and thank you for watching to this point, you can subscribe now, <laughs> that is if you've not subscribed already. And also click that like button because it helps. First impressions all shades of beautiful holding the note 20 ultra will make you feel like hey i know your mate apart from the almost all screen 6.9 inch amoled display the main attraction seems to be the huge camera design the sensors are bigger so you get as much light into those babies normally people complain about protruding cameras but this is the kind you can't hate but love and i feel it's part of what makes this phone look so premium and classy what we have left in the box is a care package from Samsung which houses the SIM ejector tool and I'm glad to see that the manual, do not need it, is getting lighter and you have model info stickers for your car and maybe laptop, <laughs> oh don't listen to me. Moving on, we've got something that looks like the screen of your phone I've seen before covering the 25 watt fast charger, type C end to end cable and the type C earphone by AKG. Oh I forgot to do the thing. And we're left with this matte bronze beauty and wow i needed a minute to take it in this phone is fine buttons are on the right this time then every other thing is pretty much what we had on the note 10 plus i skipped through the setup and the first thing i did was to confirm that 120 as refresh rate okay here's something i noticed it was smooth but i didn't feel it at first and if you give this phone to a regular user any regular user they won't tell the difference until they probably play a game with it or you tell them this is a 120 hz refresh rate that's why you have it moving so fast and they'll be like oh okay it all makes sense now that i know i don't know if that makes sense but one thing that is noticeable right out of the box is the s pen from the pencil like sound it makes while you write to how fast it responds which makes it feel like a natural pen good stuff okay spec wise everything on the note 20 ultra is top notch obviously because you're paying 1300 dollars for a wqhd plus 6.9 inch dynamic amoled display an Exynos 990 or Snapdragon 865 Plus if you're in the US. You also get top-notch camera sensors, beautiful design, good choice of material and tons of other features like the IP68 dust and water resistance, 2D face unlocking, ultrasonic in-screen fingerprints, Dolby sound and you get the S Pen. Ah yes, the S Pen is noticeably faster. Touch sensitivity is fast, latency is down to 9 milliseconds. The S Pen C has that satisfying clicking sound and it's somewhat lighter than the previous and no Samsung branding, just numbers. The S Pen this year is just a straight away noticeable upgrade over the previous. The control cutout display is one of the best you can find or you will find on a smartphone right now at 120Hz refresh rate. You also get HDR video support. Samsung has a good track record when it comes to display, obviously make displays for other companies and the Note 20 Ultra is no exception. And lastly, you get the Corning Gorilla Glass Victors, which is said to be strong and I'm not the right person to test that but it does not mean your phone will not shatter if you drop this. Best advice to get a casing and you can watch the video in the iCard for nice Note 20 Ultra cases and if you do not like casing like a lot of us, you could pick up your color box skin or D brand skin for better grip. Talking of performance, the Note 20 Ultra is a powerhouse. Gameplay was smooth and even better with the high refresh rate. There was almost no lag. I said almost because the One UI, sorry, the Samsung One UI is not as optimized compared to a phone running say stock Android. Software is not Samsung's strongest suit but it will be so hard to notice any lag. We have Android 10 right out of the box and hopefully it's going to be one of the first devices to be upgraded to Android 11. Also we have 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gig of storage on this model which you can expand up to 1TB. Why would you want to? Okay, 
I also would like to do that. Anyways, another big improvement is in the camera department. You have a better looking camera layout with that bronze rings adding to the aesthetics. Though the camera layout is somewhat big and it's loved by many, well not everyone. First is the 108 megapixel main sensor with OIS and PDAF for steady shots. Second is the 12 megapixel telephoto lens with OIS as well. This lets you zoom in and still get a steady shot, but keep in mind that you won't get as much stabilization as the main lens. Then you have the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. You can switch to any mode with just a swipe and you have loads of other modes. Example is my favorite, food mode. <laughs> well, I can't, can't keep myself. The Note 20 Ultra no doubt takes stunning pictures and it is a bit easier on the skin tone, color reproduction is great. The reason for this is the ISO cell plus camera sensors. This helps with how the lens receives light and also we have pixel binding. When your lens is capable of taking as much light as it can, yet lowering the exposure, this is good for pictures and videos. Switching between high resolution pictures and pixel binding doesn't really make a huge difference but what does is having a 64 or a 108 megapixel high resolution image. This is why you can zoom in and still get details and the final truth is you are not getting the full 108 megapixel image on the Note 20 Ultra. There is a lot to consider, the lens size, the lens quality, the focus, the field of view and then I did notice the shutter lag but it's something that can be easily fixed with the software update. Video quality is right on top, makes you feel like the big camera layout was worth it. Looking at the camera layout alone, you'll be like, oh yes, this is going to be amazing. So you have 8K at 24 frames, good stuff. 4K at 60 and 30 frames, 1080p at 60, 30 and the slow-mo frames. And something you should keep in mind is you can't use the wide lens at 60 frames on any mode. I tried using the wide lens on the 4K 60 frames, didn't go through. Um, 1080p 60 frames, nah. So here are the samples of the videos on 1080p and 4K and please be my judge. I would like to chat to you guys in the comments below. The Note 20 Ultra is not so huge on battery as we normally expect, you know, the kind of like the standard for battery these days is 5000. On the Note 20 Ultra, we have 4500 mAh which will hardly get you through the day if you keep that 120 hz refresh rate on. But for me, I would say it's alright because the main reason for buying the phone is to experience all those top tier features you have on the you Note know, 20 Ultra. So sacrificing a little bit of juice to enjoy that is totally worth it. You also get wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The Samsung Note 20 Ultra takes up to 55 minutes to let's say 1 hour to go from 0 to 100. You get 11 hours of browsing, 7 hours of video streaming online and also 7 hours of gameplay. The Samsung Note 20 Ultra is no doubt a huge phone with plenty of features that will make this video 40 minutes long if we decide to cover them all like the secure folder, edge lightning, Bixby and a bunch of other cool features which makes the 1300 price tag which translates to roughly half a million euro really worth it. Brings me back to what I said in the beginning game. <laughs> I mean what I said in the beginning of this video. The Note 20 Ultra is an amazing phone and I'm not sad to see it go. According to Business Insider, the Note 20 series is likely to be replaced by the Fold which will have an S Pen. This is feasible because the Fold has passed that beta stage. With the release of the Fold 2 and the Z Flip 5G, I think we have a good shot here. Then I was wondering which non-foldable phone will carry on the S Pen tradition. Reports by South Korean media, The Lek, claims that the S20 lineup will be codenamed unbound. There will be three models namely M1, N2 and O3 which translates to S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra which is the model that will carry on the S Pen legacy. Well in my opinion this is good. We've seen Samsung do this before and it is why we have the flagship Samsung phones having the curved display. Remember the first perfect Note, the Note 4? It had the Edge variant, then we had the S6 and the S7 Edge. They decided to remove the Edge name and just make all the screens that the flagship devices curved. And now they want to replace the Note with a foldable phone which I think is okay. They know not everyone can afford the Fold so it's like you're buying the Samsung S20 Note Ultra. Anyways, I'm not sad to see the Note name go since you will still have the same form factor in the S lineup. There are three types of people watching this video. Those who are going to buy the Note 20 Ultra because they need the S Pen. Those who love watching this channel, thank you, you're amazing. 
and then those who just want the latest in tech well i think if you just want the latest in tech and you don't want to spend too much and you don't need that s pen i think you should go for the s20 ultra it's an amazing phone with almost all that the note has to offer except for the pen and a few which of these categories do you fall under let me know in the comments below if the s20 ultra eventually comes with an s pen which model would you go for the s20 the s21 plus or the one with the s pen well that is that about that if you find this video informative in any way or enjoyed it consider hitting that like button and if you like what i do here do subscribe and turn on post notification this post notification thing eh, is not like we like to say it though but honestly it goes way beyond that you see when you subscribe and turn on post notification and i post a video youtube gets excited and sends you a notification and i in turn get excited that you watched and dropped a comment and this goes a long way to help me here and also helps me make better videos it is a psychology something and thank you all for getting us to this point the mayor is extremely grateful so yeah i remain tech mayor and i will see you in the next one peace